we ensured that nobody could come in or go out of the yoga center during the lockdown period. Uh, Sadhguru had a few meetings with us regarding the situation and uh, he put us all on high alert uh, to ensure that this does not uh, come into the yoga center. We started taking many precautions since January 2020. We started with creating awareness about maintaining social distance, following respiratory etiquette among the ashramites and guests. Many posters and reminders were also circulated. We have been working closely with the local public health authorities since January onwards. And they really appreciated the way we are meticulously following to maintain the hygiene. They found people so energetic, nobody was in a fear or turmoil or anything. So they were really surprised and they were telling that it is only possible that Sadhguru can give such a kind of guidance. Since the lockdown started, all of us have been going through periodic medical screening and it is being continued till date. Uh, as far as the medical screening is concerned, there are just uh, three simple steps. When the individual comes to the counter, the, their uh, temperature is checked and uh, their uh, details are uh, captured. Once the details are entered in the app, uh, their uh, symptoms are asked for. If they do not have any of the uh, symptoms in the checklist, uh, they are given a health uh, wristband. So in case uh, anyone was found without a wristband, uh, the security personnel usually gently uh, probe them to come for the medical screening. So no medical screening, no food. <laughs> That's how it is here at the ashram. We have reorganized the living spaces and workspaces to maintain social distancing. Dining space have been shifted to open area to maintain social distancing. We got in touch with the local farmers around the ashram. Once we con contacted them, they were more than willing to come forward and help us. They delivered their vegetables, everything at the ashram premises itself. We have a separate area where vegetables, fruits, everything, we sanitize it. And from here, we take it to the kitchen. <laughs> காலையில வந்து குளிச்சிட்டு தான் உள்ள வருவாங்க கம்பல்சரி டெய்லியுமே அவங்களுக்கு வந்து टेंपरेचर எவ்வளவு இருக்குன்னு செக் பண்ணுவோம் அதுக்கு அடுத்து அவங்க க்ளவுஸ் மாஸ்க் இதெல்லாம் போட்டுட்டு குக்கிங் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க அடுத்து டைனிங் வயசானவங்க அவங்கள வந்து ஒரு இடத்துல சாப்பிடுற மாதிரியும் குழந்தைங்க எல்லாம் வந்து ஒரு இடத்துல சாப்பிடுற மாதிரியும் மித்த நார்மலா இருக்குறவங்க ஒரு இடத்துல சாப்பிடுறது அது மூணு டைனிங்க பிரிச்சோம் மெயினா அந்த இடத்துல வந்து நம்ம சமூக இடைவெளி சோசியல் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் வந்து சிக்ஸ் ஃபீட் மெயின்டைன் பண்றது அதுக்கு ஒரு சிலருக்கு ஞாபகப்படுத்துறதுக்காக வாலண்டியர்ஸோட சப்போர்ட் வச்சு ஒரு ஃபிளக் கார்டு மாதிரி இருக்கும் ஹேண்ட் சானிடைசர்ஸ் வேர் மேட் அவைலபிள் எவ்ரிவேர் இந்த ஆஷ்ரம் ப்ரமைசஸ் Disinfectant spraying has been done on a daily basis. So the maintenance department, they form a, a team. In a day, they will go to different places, including our stay area, and the office, and the kitchen, and wherever the people are moving around. All those areas have been taken into consideration. Apart from these, the elderly population has been separated from the rest of the population to protect themselves. How they took the, the age that was more vulnerable and putting them also separate from us was incredibly, just it gives me goosebumps. So all entry and exit points to the yoga center was closed and only one gate was operational. So this way we could maintain a very tight control on movement of people 
and material every vehicle that is coming into the yoga center and every material that is coming into the yoga center was completely sanitized security team were deployed at every point to ensure that safe and social distancing was maintained within the yoga center we have been fortunate to receive guidelines from sadguru to improve our immunity along with the practices we do we have been doing certain yogic practices to improve the lung capacity and specific processes like applying vibhuti over the body i feel like i've grown a lot being here in the past 70 something days every single day i've been able to practice yoga and meditation which of course is also supporting my immunity and health we chew the neem leaves and keep the juice in the mouth for 1 to 2 hours we consume turmeric amla on a regular basis we also take nilavembu kashayam twice a day and herbal drinks made with concoction of some herbs to improve our immunity i think there is a concrete sense of responsibility in the ashram a real sense of responsibility recognizing that you are responsible for who you are what you do and your way of life sometimes i feel that i'm living in another in another not even country i'm living in another planet so every detail has been really uh, thought through planned out and acted upon more importantly so the kind of responsibility that uh, you know people have over here in the and just the organizational uh, agility to you know be ahead of the game and make sure everything is uh, on the top it's just phenomenal it blows my mind there's an energy here that keeps you safe in another in another um, dimension altogether i was kind of losing hope in humanity and then uh, then comes satguru and he's doing so much for the world and uh, helping people helping the environment and just brings you hope that uh, there is someone you know doing something uh, good in the world so having satguru here has been a huge privilege for all of us his presence and his constant guidance has made it so easy for us to go through such a challenging situation in the most effortless and joyful way we are working together to make this isha yoga center a safe haven and a covid free environment if you don't look at the news you won't even know something's happening outside this is one of the best places on the planet that i can be in especially in the lockdowns because i i feel that you treat us so well like the for improve our immune system so i'm just blessing and say thank you every day every day although i was not planning to be at the ashram during the lockdown uh, during this period for so long i feel it's a blessing in disguise the ashram the way it's handled the lockdown is um it doesn't just handle it hasn't just handled the lockdown the ashram handles life just the precision and the way um Sadhguru has planned everything and uh, care that they have taken to make sure that you know everybody in the ashram is safe is really remarkable. You know there's always somebody to care about your well-being in a much much deeper way that you can possibly understand. As far as the safety with Anisha I I have felt incredibly safe.